Okay, final brain region relevant to all of this is the frontal cortex. We already got a first pass at the frontal cortex last week, and frontal cortex regulating your behavior, impulse control, all that sort of thing, gratification postponement, this plays a large role in sexual behavior. What's the easy, immediate explanation that one can come up with? What the frontal cortex does is it makes you be appropriate in your sexual behavior. It teaches you the appropriate context. It teaches you what aspects of proceptive sexual behavior is not a good idea. It keeps you from doing things you would regret vastly afterward. That's a very easy version of it. And commensurate with that, you see lots of circumstances of individuals with frontal cortical damage doing highly inappropriate sexual behavior. One example of it, one of those horrifying things that can happen, this was a case that actually happened in a nursing home in Martinez in the East Bay a number of years ago. This was a man in his 80s who had had stroke damage to his frontal cortex who was found to have raped a woman there, another 80-year-old with Alzheimer's disease damage the frontal cortex and all sorts of the this is not sexual behavior that you do constraints go down the tubes. Just as importantly though, what the frontal cortex with all of its giving you the discipline to do the right thing, some of the time what that takes the form of is getting you to do proceptive sexual behavior. For example, you are trying to do some courtship of some other antlered ungulate that you are courting and this is terrifying because there is another individual challenging you and it is the frontal cortex that is getting you to carry out those sexual behaviors at that point even if it is a terrifying circumstance. Nonetheless, what the frontal cortex mostly is about is reigning in sexual behavior. It's not changing the fixed action patterns of sex, it's changing the context in which the fixed action patterns occur.